now we have to size the we have to select the hot water recirculating pump okay so uh, the sizing of this pump is quite different as compared to the other pumps in this case we have to uh, we have to calculate the total heat loss in the hot water return network okay so let's see how how we, how you will do this let's see this step by step it, uh, in this section a we have a reference table reference table of heat losses in hot water pipes per fit okay so this is the size table of the, uh, pipe, normal pipe sizes 1 2 3 4 refers to the pipe material for example one it is referring galvanized iron two is for brass or copper third table is for your copper water tubing which is type l and fourth one is insulated pipes in the case if you have insulated pipes in that case it doesn't matter what kind of material that you are using okay so these these are the heat losses from from these kind of pipes so the first thing is you have to identify which uh, which kind of piping okay is it galvanized or it, it is insulated pipe is used in your project as per your specifications next is uh, what what you have to do is you have to calculate the total piping length of the hot water supply plus hot water return okay so these are the pipe sizes that you have and uh, you have to write here the number for example say this is one two three four and in this in this project i have used say for example copper tube copper tube i have used in this project for hot water supply in return so copper tube is referring third number i'll write here three when you write three over here it will take all those heat losses values for these pipe sizes okay now i have the heat losses values for one fit i have to calculate what is the total pipe length of half inch three by four one one by four for this complete project so for this one i am assuming that for example say for one for half inch pipe and the pipe length is say 100 feet 50 supply 50 return okay for three by four let's say for example it is 80 feet okay i'm assuming just to save time but for a, for the actual project you have to you have to manually calculate the total pipe length so for half for one inches it is say for example 60 and for one one by four let's say for example uh it is 50 fit so half will be supply half will be return you have to add the total supply and return so once you multiply this losses with the linear fit for one fit you have and total length is given so when you multiply these two values you will get the total losses okay and when you add all this you are getting the total heat losses in the hot water network that is 7850 BTUs per hour okay you have identified that next c section in this section we'll calculate what is the pump flow rate of this pump okay so for the pump flow rate we we have we have this for for each 10000 btus per hour one gpm is required for heat loss makeup okay so total we have 7000 and for 10000 one gpm is required so what i'll do i'll divide this value by 10000 okay that you will get 0 0.8 gpm so this gpm is the flow rate of this pump okay this is standard for 10000 one gpm is required for hot water circulation section d will calculate the pump head loss okay so for pump head loss you have to you have to write here what is the total piping length farthest up to the remote fixture so uh, that one you have to calculate for this case i'm assuming uh, it's a one two three let me zoom out four story building so four into three that is uh, 12 meters plus i'll assume two meters above two meter below 
that is 16 meter 16 meter i'm assuming as the critical pipe length so i'll multiply this value because 16 meter is the supply 16 into 3.28 you get 52 is the pipe length friction factor to, so we usually design uh, the pressure uh, this uh, domestic pipes in between the range of 4 to 5 psi so i'll write here 4 psi so you'll get the value friction into head loss divided by 100 you'll get the friction losses in pipes for fittings and accessories i'll take 50 percent of the pipe length okay so 1.5 multiplied by the head loss in the pipe supply and return that is 3.24 3.21 is the total head loss of this pump so uh, to conclude this we got the pump flow as 0 0.8 gpm pump head as 3.12 psi and to calculate the hp we have, we have a formula gpm into head loss divided by 1 1028 is the conversion factor to convert this into hp okay so this is how you have to size the hot water recirculation system